What's up YouTube? This is LDS Reliance. Today we're going to do a video and I'm going to show you how to map a drive on your Windows 7 or Windows 8 computer to an FTP server. So the first thing we're going to want to do is um, hit Windows E to bring up your Windows Explorer screen. We're going to go ahead and right click on your computer and go to Map Network Drive. That's going to pull up this dialog box. We don't want to mess with anything in here. We just want to click down here where it says connect to a website that you can use to store your documents and pictures. In other words, an FTP site or a cloud server or whatever you want to call it. Um, go ahead and click next on this next screen. And we're going to uh, click on this, click next. So now we're going to type in the address of the location of your server. So this is going to be different for, for all of you. This, in, in my case, this is my work FTP server. Um, type in the address and then click Next. We want to uncheck this box. Most FTP servers don't allow anonymous logins anymore. And then you're going to want to put in your username. For the uh, And you need to have a, a, a username already set up and, and ready to go on the FTP server in order for this to work. And you click Next. Um, you can give it a name if you want. This is just what it's going to show up as in your Windows Explorer. So we're just going to click Next and next, Finish. Now it's going to ask you for your password. And you want to put it in here. You can save your password if you want. Um, and then we'll click Login. And boom, we're on my work FTP server. Um, so now I can access all my files. Um, anything that I want to do and it's just like having it as a, a hard drive on your actual computer it's pretty seamless there may be a slight delay obviously in transferring files but uh, it depends on your internet connection and so forth so now you can go ahead and close out of all of this so now when you hit Windows E again this is what we see here and this is always going to show up every time you start up the computer as long as it can make the connection it's going to show up here so all you have to do, you don't even have to put in your password if you check the box to save the password. You just double click it, boom, it opens up just like if it was a network attached storage device or an external hard drive or whatever. It's just that easy. Anyway, thanks guys for watching. Have a good one.